we'll start the process by installing this Windows 32 Disk Imager software. Uh, so do as I'm doing on the screen, exactly the same way. Uh, we have downloaded this recipe and image file, .img file from uh, Raspberry Pi .org. Yeah, so uh, choose your uh, SD card disk there and uh, click write. So it will take around five minutes to write the image on your SD card, make it bootable. Yeah, so when we are done, uh, click OK, exit the software. Now what we're going to do is uh, Raspbian doesn't allow SSH to be enabled by default at the time we download it and write it on the SD card. So we'll enable that by using a simple method. We'll create a SSH named file without any extension on the boot folder on the SD card on which the Raspbian is written in, in now. Yes, so using CMD, we'll use one echo command to create a file without any extension on that. So go to the disk, uh, which is K for me here. K is my SD card. So as you can see, yeah, K. Uh, it has no file named SSH right now. Now I'll use this echo command. On Mac, we can use touch similar to echo in the terminal. So by using the exactly the same command I have used, we can check that the folder we have one SSH named file appearing here now. Yeah, exactly this one. So as soon as you put the SD card inside, it will recognize it. So guys, as soon as you put the SD card inside your Raspberry Pi, it will automatically recognize that uh, SSH file and it will enable the SSH after the next boot. And then you can directly access the Raspberry Pi using SSH uh, putty, putty SSH software, which I'll show in the next video. And uh, for formatting the SD card, you can watch my previous video, which I'll be giving link on this video. Thanks for watching.